What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pokemon Joe back with some Pokemon news for you. Uh, this is more of Niantic confirming my video about the data mine. So, if you don't want to know about what's coming up in the future, don't watch this or don't check your game because it pops up in your game with a link to this. So, anyhow. Uh, it says, trainers were excited to announce upcoming changes to Pokemon Go and our continued effort to prioritize Pokemon Go experiences that can be enjoyed in individual settings and from home, you'll soon be able to enjoy the following. With a remote raid pass, you can access raid battles you can see on the nearby screen from wherever you are. You'll receive a bonus field research task daily without having to spin a Pokestop. As soon as you run low on gifts, your buddy Pokemon will venture to nearby Pokestops and bring some gifts back for you to send out to your friends. You'll be able to power up your Pokemon to the desired CP by using all the required candies and Stardust at once. After using a Star Piece, Lucky Egg, or Incense, you'll be able to use more of the same item to extend the item's effect beyond the usual 30 minutes. No more waiting for an item effect to expire before you can use another one. Look out for other updates including improved battle screen design. Now, this really goes into detail, but I'm just going to give you the snippets of it. If you want, you can pause the screen and read it for yourself or visit yourself, but I'll just give you the snippets because, like I said, I don't want the video to run like a half hour or whatever. But the gist of it is, is you can hold a limited amount of raid passes. Um, only one remote raid pass will be required to join each raid, and you'll be able to hold a limited amount of remote raid passes at a time. 20 trainers can join the same raid battle with a limited number of trainers using remote raid passes. Now, it also says that your remote raids count towards your achievements and research. Uh, at the launch period, when it first goes out, the remote uh, raids remotely will have the same attack power, but when it starts to become uh, non-quarantine, I guess, uh, the remote raiders will do will be nerfed. They'll do less damage than a person raiding from right there. Next, uh, they'll be making adjustments to the feature over time, including changes to the number. So what it is is there's a limited number. You can do 20 people in a raid. But out of those 20, only like, say, 10 of them can be remote raiders. And then later on, they'll drop it down to like 5. So they really want people to get the effect out of it. If The smart thing to do is during the quarantine to let them all be remote raiders since none of us are supposed to be out and about. Now, um, let's see. If you want to give the new feature a try, keep a lookout for the Pokecoin or one Pokecoin bundle that should have remote raid passes in it. And I can tell you right now, it's probably going to be three because that's what they pulled up in the data mine. Later on, there'll be 100 Pokecoins each. And then later on after that, they're probably going to go up to 200 Pokecoins each. Uh, the new thing about uh, daily field research is they're going to give you every night at midnight, you're going to get a fourth slot in your field research, and it's going to be something specifically that you can do from your house. So nothing like, you know, find a Team Go Rocket grunt or anything like that. Uh, it should be all simple stuff. It's probably going to be things like, you know, earn a heart with your buddy or take a snapshot of a Pokemon or five snapshots or something like that. Um, not sure what the rewards are going to be, but at least you'll be able to get your field research for your seven day streak. Next, your buddy Pokemon will bring you gifts to send if you start to run low. What's going to happen is as your um, gifts start to get low, your Pokemon of any, any level, it doesn't have to be best buddy or anything like that, any level, they, they'll run out to the Pokestop and they'll bring you back a gift. Now the power up Pokemon faster, it's exactly how it sounds. If you want to go, if you want to jump up 10 levels, instead of having to do it power up, power up, power up, power up, you just do it one time, go to 10 levels, boom, you're done. Active multiple star pieces, lucky eggs, and incense at a time to extend effect duration. This is going to give you a screen where when the uh, incense is about to run out, it'll say your incense is running out. Would you like to use another one? You just hit yes, boom, you're done. You don't have to go all the way through the going, you know, click the pokeball, go to items, scroll down to incense, click on incense. By then you've lost 30 seconds on the star piece and da 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 da. So it should make it a lot easier. Other updates, the battle screen have been polished. The way HP bars appear will be updated to consistent to be consistent across all battle systems. Pokemon types will also now appear on the battle screen along with text that tells you whether a move is super effective or not very effective. And the shop icon in the Pokeball menu will soon have a notification to let you know there's new items in the shop. Then there's a little note where they're saying thank you for playing during this time and they appreciate it, blah blah blah. 
Now let's get on to the part that I'm really excited about. Trainers, what do water, fire, grass, psychic, bug, and ground type Pokemon all have in common? They'll all be featured in our first ever Incense Day event for the first time ever. Incense will attract certain Pokemon of certain types during specific time periods. Regardless of the time though, all Incense will attract Sentra during the event. Who knows, you might encounter a shiny one. That tells me they're going to increase the shiny rate for Sentra. We're continuing to prioritize Pokemon Go experiences that can be enjoyed in individual settings. Once again, Pokemon Stay. Incense will last for one hour until further notice, so be sure to activate one during the event to experience the type shuffle. Date and time, Sunday, April 19th, 2020, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. your local time. So it doesn't matter if you're in Australia, America, South America, it's always your local time. Features, incense will attract more centered for the duration of the event. An event exclusive one Pokecoin bundle featuring three incense will be available to pick up in the shop. In addition to centered, Pokemon of different types will be attracted by incense. The type of Pokemon attracted by incense will shuffle every hour. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this guys because you're going to want to remember the schedule. From 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., water-type Pokemon like Poliwag, Tentacool, and Sfeel will be splish-splashing their way to incense. If you're incredibly lucky, Clampearl might swim by. From 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., fire-type Pokemon like Growlithe, Ponita, and Houndour will be burning to find your incense. If you're incredibly lucky, Lit Litwick might make a blazing appearance. I don't really like their puns. From 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., grass-type Pokemon like Oddish, Roselia, and the Leap will be leaf surely making their way toward your incense. <sighs> if you're incredibly lucky, Ferrisseed might plant itself near you. From 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., psychic-type Pokemon like Slowpoke, Baltoy, and Bronzor will be appearing in your future. If you're incredibly lucky, Gothita might pay you a visit. And from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., Bug-type Pokemon like Caterpie, Lediba, and Scorpy will be crawling their way towards your incense. If you're incredibly lucky, Joltik might make a shocking appearance. From 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m., Ground-type Pokemon like Wooper, Barboach, and Hippopotus will be digging their way toward you. If you're lucky, Drillbur might make a, sh a quaking entrance near you. Please be aware of your surroundings when playing Pokemon Go. Upcoming events are subject to change. Be sure to follow us on social media, opt in to receive push notifications, subscribe to our email, stay updated, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, guys, I'm really excited about this. Um, almost every Pokemon they named in that list does have a shiny variant in the game, so this is a good opportunity to get yourself some shiny Pokemon. It's not quite a community day, but it's pretty darn close. It is going to cost you incense to do it, but thank God they're giving you incense. It does say that the incense is only going to last for an hour during the until further notice, but in the data mine it said that they're going to last for three hours, so just keep your eye out for that because, you know, hard subject to change. Anyways, other than that, guys, I just want to say my laptop's coming in today. Some videos are going to be changing. My style's going to be changing. A lot of stuff's going to be changing, so... Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. And remember, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I guess that's not the end, since I just woke up this morning and found this little nugget of information. Uh, data miners have actually found that there is, in the game code, some rewards for being between levels 40 and 50, so it looks like we're going to be getting an increase in our levels. Now, as you can see, the rewards are kind of pointless. I don't understand why they give you lucky eggs when you're already level 40. But anyways, thank you, love you, see you in the next one.